Okay, so this was going to be my first look at the Sony XG8396. Uh, it's a 43 inch that I've tested. Um, the only trouble is that uh, when I started it up, uh, apart from it taking an absolute age to start up, uh, when I went into the menus, it's still running Android 7.0, uh, which, uh, and it didn't feel any different to an F series, which was a slow operating system. Uh, and really wasn't very pleasant to use. Um, I had a look around, I had a look on the website and I found this information. So Android 8.0 Oreo automatic update temporarily suspended. It's something to do with uh, external speakers um, and if you wish to install it you can download it onto USB which is what I've done. So what I'm going to do is apply the update via USB uh, onto this G-Series TV. Now there isn't a uh, G-Series TV listed uh, on this patch um, but obviously the G series has only just come out so what I've done is I've downloaded the one for the F series TVs uh, I'm going to see if it takes that if not I'll just have to wait for it to be updated but I'm not really going to review this TV uh, or test this TV uh, until I've got Android 8 on it because Android 8 is way way better I've tried it on the AF9 and it's much much faster but I want to see what it's like on the specs uh, and I'm also going to run uh, ADA64 and find out if this is using any different hardware uh, to the F series models of a similar sort of uh, part of the range and see how we get on. I'll show you a bit more of the footage but uh, I will release a proper first look video on this when I have the new software on it hopefully very soon. Okay thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe.